some of the judges have died. They have died, though. In fact, two of them died almost the same time towards the presidential election tribunal proceedings or before. Uh, but they died, they died almost the same season. So the Supreme Court is in a serious need of judges. You can apply. You, <laughs> you can actually apply. But before this time, I had Justice Samani would be promoted to Supreme Court. I don't know if that's the order or he merited it. I don't know. Some said plus the dollars. <laughs> what dollars, Seth? I'm wondering about what dollars they are talking about. <laughs> anyway. Them say the package includes promotion to Supreme Court. Already before finalizing the tribunal judgment, uh, Tinubu's counsel at the tribunal, Fabemi, who was representing Tribu at the tribunal, SAN. Now remember, he is now the Attorney General of the Federation, Nigeria. So, Nsobu Odekwa. You know why I'm saying this? I'm talking about P2B's petition. Hmm. That petition will be like cockroach, eh? way mistakenly fall inside the midst of local fowls. Hey, <laughs> we had in the do meeting. Hmm. Sorry for that cockroach. His own case is obituary. That petition, eh? The way they will smash it this time around, there. Eh? Hmm. So the Supreme Court of Nigeria is supposed to have twenty-one judges. But not only 11 they there as we speak. Some retired recently. Why some don't buy? Them been there 17 sometime last year. Mm, from that 2022 to about, uh, you know. Hmm. But the speed where these people take by. Hmm. So what are your thoughts on the depleting number of justices on the bench of the Supreme Court? What impact is this having on dispensation of justice in Nigeria? Seriously, it's having a negative impact. But I think steps have been taken now to speed up the process. We are just coming back from the Court of Appeal legal year and we had the good news that the steps are being taken from the Attorney General, the fact with me, that the, to fill up the vacancies. It's a matter of concern because in the Court of Appeal, we were made to understand about 20% of the justices of the, of the work, justices of the Court of Appeal will be off uh, before the end of this year. Now, based on what the Andoaka talk, Andoaka say, fact with me, we be Tinubu's counsel at the Presidential Election Tribunal. Now, the Attorney General of the Federation say in the work on to to fill the vacancy waiting for Supreme Court. Now, Fabemi S.A.N., who is not among the judge, now he was made Attorney General. <laughs> he will be among those who will, you know, help make sure there is no vacancy at the Supreme Court. <laughs> Peter will be. <laughs> And Peter B's petition is heading for the Supreme Court to this time around there. Eh? Hmm. They will look for the deepest canal <laughs> and yank the petitions. They will make sure it is over totally, sealed and never to be had. Meanwhile, eh, the fact is that Nigeria is going, going, going. Soon we hear gone. You heard uh, what Andoaka said. The judiciary is not independent based on that, sincerely. Because the federal government is involved. <laughs> now you can understand how hard Obi's case is. Only God can obtain Tinibu's victory. That is what one of these pastors said. And if you look at it, it is possible Obi can still be president and Tinibu's victory will be obtained. And it is only God that can do that. I'm not saying it as it is at the Supreme Court to no. And I'm not discouraging anybody. Peter B should fulfill all righteousness, all requirements of the law. The law permits him to go as far as the Supreme Court. So Peter B should carry on. Hmm.
We may not know what will happen. Another thing can develop even outside Supreme Court. We don't know. So only God can make people be president in this kind of mean country that we find ourselves. A country with mean and desperate people. And before I go, please remember when the Supreme Court finished the case between Atiku and Buhari. You remember? Regards the 2019 election. It was towards the end of Buhari's tenure. So these guys feel drag this matter to 2027. I will not be surprised. So, <laughs> like one white government pastor talks, eh? they are praying and I make Tinubu first get there. Uh, once Tinubu gets there, forget what they will do to stop Obi. Meanwhile, obedience i'm not discouraging you i believe anything is possible mm. god can walk in a mysterious way yes and let's wait and see how it plays out anything is possible god can still turn around things i believe god what make i live and here